Okay guys, here we are loading another test for the 6.5 Creedmoor. This test is to further confirm the nodes that I um, found while running the AR2209 charges over the magneto speed the last time I took it out. This test we will load in the middle of the two nodes that I found. So we found one node between 40.4 and 40.6 grains of AR2209 and another node between 41.6 and 41.8 grains of 2209. So today we're going to load between them. So we'll load 40.5 and 41.7 grains. We're going to load 10 rounds of each and I'm also going to load two fowlers at the 40.5 grain charge. What I'll do then is I'll shoot five rounds of each charge, so 40.5 and 41.7 over the magneto speed. That will confirm that I found a load with good SDs for each node. Then I'll also shoot five rounds for accuracy of each without the magneto speed attached to the barrel because sometimes it can mess with the harmonics. If I don't get the accuracy that I'm after at that point, I'm going to come back and I'm going to change the overall length of the loads and the distance between the projectile to the lens to find the best accuracy for those loads. Again, if they have good SD. I've already got one charge dispensed. So this will be a fouling charge. And here we go. simply mark the cases, I don't know if you can see that, with the letter F, that to me indicates that's my fair charge. And for the actual batches of 10, I use a numbering system. So I have everything marked on my mobile phone, that's where I keep all my reloading notes. And I have a number assigned to this chart, to the 40.5 charge, and a number assigned to the 41.7 charge. seeding these projectiles it's compressing the powder in the case which is why I do my hold it for seven seconds that just lets the compression force equalize out I'm not going to seat these projectiles, I'll switch the camera around and I'll seat the projectiles while you can actually see what I'm doing over there in the press. While this is going I can probably talk about my choice of projectile, 6.5 Creedmoor, it's a Hornady ELDX 143 grain, the reason I went over I went with a 143 LDX over the 140 LDM is purely because where I'm hunting I could also encounter shots inside 100 yards even though I'm developing a load for long range I need a projectile that can perform inside 100 yards and the LDX can probably do that a bit better for me than the LDM that's my train of thought on that anyway Okay, I'm going to finish up how to charging these and I'll be back when I'm seeding these 10 projectiles. Okay guys, we're back here recording the seating of the projectiles for the 41.7 grain charge. This is the Lee Classic Cast Breech Lock that I do that on. The reason that I'm using the classic class classic cast breech lock to um, see projectiles for the Creedmoor, whereas I use the Forster coax for the 300 Norman mag, is purely because I don't want to have to set up the die again for the Forster coax because I'm intending to purchase the Forster ultra micrometer cedar die for the 6.5 Creedmoor as well 
currently I'm just running the standard Hornady cedar die. Okay, that's these done. I can basically just mark these as the second batch. Just permanent marker and a number two. Got to draw in there a bit. And... If you're worried about marking the cases with permanent marker or a sharpie, don't be. It comes off with tumbling. Not always the first time you put them through the tumbler, but it does come off after subsequent tumblings. And I normally tumble every time I load after um, full length sizing the cases. I run them through the tumbler to get the any excess lube off the case. I find with the lube that I'm using, the Hornady One Shot Spray, it doesn't wipe off the case easily just with a rag. Okay, that's done. All ready for the range session. All I have to do now is pack everything up, get the powder out of the RCBS Charge Master light. We're pretty much good to go. Okay, bye.